Hey, this is Joe with Personas. I get this question quite often. How do you adjust the gaps between songs when you're doing a mastering session on the project page in Studio One? Can you adjust them or are they like locked in place and you can't get to them? The answer is yes, you can. And I'm talking specifically about song one ends, song two begins. Is there a gap between those and can we adjust that? So let's see for ourselves. Uh, here is the new uh, master and release template in Studio One. Here are a bunch of WAV files that, let's say, I want to master. So I'm going to drag those to this section here, which is really cool that you can do that, and it will create everything for me. So give it a second, and it's dropped everything in place. Now, what are the default gaps between songs? Well, let's just zoom in and take a look. It looks like for this one, it's just immediately from one to the next. With this one, let's let's just keep scrolling. It's a really long song. Uh, with this one, it is the same. Okay, so it appears that they all are just going back to back, one after the other, with no gaps in between. Now, this is probably for me kind of the default mode that I would want to use most of the time. Typically, the gap setting that you have in a mastering session, where you can actually increase the space between songs, that's typically only honored when you're burning a CD, so doing a proper CD album, there is the gap that kind of gets written to the CD. For digital release, it just it just exports them from the beginning of the song where you have it marked here, which is how this is set up by default. However, we do have some options, and the way you get to those is this cute little button right here. Okay, so you see how we've got, if I expand the details under this song. It gives me all the different metadata here, but there's nothing here about the gap or the pause between tracks. But if we click this button, which goes from, what is it? It goes from small to normal view. You'll see that now, in addition to all the meta information, each track actually has this number here. And so the first one defaults to two, because kind of, I think by default, you have a two second gap at the beginning of an album. Uh, which you can adjust, but then it also has gaps between each song. So let's zoom out, and let's just, for, for giggles, let's say the gap between song one and song two needs to be 20 seconds. If I add that in, let's make it even bigger. Oh, 10 is the max, never mind. So we make it a 10 second gap. You can see that Studio One automatically added a gap between here and here of exactly 10 seconds. So the easiest way when you're asking me how do I adjust these is to literally just enter a number there, and it will adjust as you want it to. The downside of this is you're not able to like move it to exactly where you want it. Maybe you decide that this song's over and you kind of listen and you feel and you're like, okay, I want the next song to start right here. Okay, so we said here, like there. I can either go in and like guess how long that was. It was probably a second, a little bit more, or we can actually move this around. So you see, if I drag this back, I can put this exactly where I want it to be. And if you look up there on the left-hand side, I'll zoom in, you can see that was moving with me. So as I click and drag this piece of audio, it moves it around. So if I snap it all the way, it's basically no gap. And as I drag it, it adds in a gap. And does it move everything else down the line? Yes. So we can make the first song as long as we want. We can drag this back and it will snap in place. Now, one question that I do get occasionally is, what if I want things to overlap? So I want one song to end and the other to begin. You can do that by just, just keep on dragging it back. And you can even make this one fade in if you want. Um, the problem with this is typically the way those in like those albums where it really does fade from one song into the next there needs to be a point where the next song begins um and what will happen is f when you export this i believe the song will sound like this so this first song will end here and the second song will begin there um it's not a bad thing it, but it only really works in context of an album Right, if I'm listening from song one to song two, and like the guitars are fading out as the second song begins, if that's how you want to ro roll with it, that's great. Problem is, what if I'm listening to this on shuffle? Then this song starts. Oh, hang on. This this song starts. So every time I go to play this song, it starts with that sound of the previous one fading out. Is it a big deal? No, I've got songs in my library from you know major label releases that do that, um, where you're hearing the fade out of the previous song as the next song begins. It's more in a live 
album, I feel like, than in like a studio album. But you can technically do that. But I prefer to just have them go start to back. Now, you'll notice I just drag this back, and now this is not connected to this. This is one of those weird things. We can actually drag this back, but then look, it moves the other one. So like, how do we fix that? The answer is to hold down a modifier key. So I believe if you hold down command, now it's just moving this one without moving the other. And that's how you kind of get around that. If you want it to be a longer gap, you go like this. Or maybe uh, the song actually begins here instead of here. Maybe you accidentally exported or your client accidentally gave you a song with a really long intro gap. You can click and drag this one. And you'll notice it's actually moving both together. If you don't want to move them together, again, grab Command. I'm holding down Command, which would be Control on the PC. And you can put this exactly where the song needs to start. Um, but then you'll have a gap between the two. So you may want to either do it that way or you want to edit the file like this. Move this to be right at the beginning of that file and then move that back. That's probably a better way to do that, but you have some options. But if you just move it like this, it's going to maintain whatever gap that you set. If you hold down Command, now it's moving one or the other independently of each other. And then if you move the audio, it moves the starting gap for that audio with the song. And everything to the right of it moves as well. So you're not causing things to like overlap unintentionally. This feature, they've we've updated over the years, because when it was first came out, like version 2, I remember not being able to do a few of these things, or it was really confusing how to make it happen. It's a lot more intuitive now. So if you want to mess with these gaps, you have a couple of options. You can drag it to the exact spot where you want it to move to the next song, or you can um, enter the amount here. Or a third option is you can extend the ending of the first one out to exactly where you want the second one to start. So if we did something like this, uh, this is actually probably what I would do if I was, um, yeah, if I was editing this and I know it's not going to go on a CD, it's just going to go on a digital release, I might actually extend this one and make this one even longer. If I want this one to start here, uh, and when you listen to it, I want there to be this exact gap of audio when the first song ends and the second song begins. Um, if we use this gap feature here, I don't believe that gap gets written to the digital files. It's only for like a CD release. So the CD would be different from the actual audio uh, from like a digital release. If we do it this way, now we've actually said that the first song ends here in this kind of white space. The second song begins here here, if that makes sense. So you've got several options of how to do that. Um, I wouldn't like lose sleep over this. It's one of those, it's nice to have and be able to do it. But typically speaking, we are living in a much more single focused world than full album focused world. So I really tend to want to have my songs stand alone by themselves, still sound good from one to the next. I'll pay attention to the gaps a little bit. Um, but I'm not like losing sleep over it because it's just a little blip of time between one and the next. But if you want to get in there and really tweak that, this is how you do it. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one.